It was a bitterly cold day in New York City, with temperatures reaching incredibly low levels while she was doing her best to seek shelter for her kittens. Heavy snow continued to fall throughout the city, with most people sheltering inside their warm homes and office buildings. However, one poor soul was desperately trying to find a warm place for her kittens. Renny Becerra, a caregiver to many of her neighborhood cats, was sound asleep in her bedroom when she awoke into the sound of scratching outside. Looking outside, she saw a cat peering back at her through the glass she wasn't alone. Standing in the snow right beside her was her kittens. Sensing that mom was trying to find somewhere warm for her babies, Renny approached the window, but it was too much for the mom who quickly took off leaving her kittens behind, all alone in the snow. Renny was convinced that the mom wanted to help her kittens, otherwise why would she be scratching at the window as if asking for help? It took a while to figure out what was the best thing to do for all of them since she was obviously around and providing them care. But it was bitterly cold outside. One cat in particular was rubbing up against the glass as if pleading to come in, giving the mom a cat the name Chunk Chunk. Renee decided the best thing to do would be to build a winter shelter stocked full of blankets and cat food for the whole family. Her hunch proved right because the mama cat moved upright in, grateful to find somewhere warm to shelter from the freezing temperatures. Sadly though, it wasn't too late for one kitten who was already too weakened by the cold. Renee knew full well that the shelter was not going to be a long-term solution for the family. So along with her fiancé, Nathaniel Steyer, they made a decision. After gathering some supplies, they brought the kittens indoors. The mama cat disappeared before we could trap her, she said. They had no idea where she had gone, nor did she return in the two months the couple took care of the kittens. Once the kittens were old enough, Rene brought them to the New York branch of the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals (ASPCA) to help them find their own forever homes. However, that was not going to be the end of the story for Rene. A few weeks later, another winter storm rolled into New York. Yet again, Rene heard some scratching sounds at the very same window. What do you think about this story? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this, please don't forget to share it.